which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Brown. Present. Do I have a motion to excuse Commissioners I'll Hendrick and... I'll make a motion to excuse Commissioner Hendrick and Turner. Second. Yeah, we have a motion and second. Any comment? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Carries. Just a reminder to the Commission to use your microphones. I've had a couple requests this evening. Well, mine's out. <laughs> Next up, we have the communications. First, we have a Laboon Bridge update and the projected spring 2013 dates for construction. John, did you want to speak to that at all? We're just pushing it from September, end of August, September, out to February, uh, primarily because we couldn't get the permits straightened around with the Coast Guard in time to guarantee that we could make uh, the letting period for MDOT. Um, they claim it will be a shorter period of downtime than we initially planned, but we'll see. Um, that also pushed the uh, South Bell River reconstruction out till the end of April since we're coordinating those two projects together. So uh, the bridge will be open until early February, and then it'll be closed and closed till the end of June. Okay. And then we also have a notice of day of review of apportionments from the, for the drain maintenance special assessment on the Gaiman County drain from the St. Clair County Drain Commissioner Bob Wiley. And that day of review will be Wednesday, August 8th, 2012. And I believe it's going to be, yes, at the Road Commission on Airport Drive in St. Clair Township. All right. I move that we accept the communications and place them on file. Second. We have a motion and second to approve the communications. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of approving communications signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Carries. Next we have public comment. Residents are welcome to address the commission. Please limit your comments to five minutes and state your name and address at the beginning. Anyone? Can the sidewalk on the west side of the bridge, the south end, be fixed? The DPW sent two men over there to sandblast them over a year ago, and the gentleman that done the north end beveled it. Who ever done the south end sandblasted the top of the sidewalk? So there is a step this high, and it makes it rough for me to cross it. And I haven't complained because I thought the bridge was painfully clean. But it only take a couple minutes to fix it. Okay. Take a look at it. Well, we'll take a look. Thank you. Anyone else? This is McKenzie. Yes, ma'am. Okay, the reason I'm here tonight is something really disturbed me. Most of the stuff I, I, sorry, I don't care about. But this bothers me beyond measure. Thought, and it is, we worry about tourism here. We want to bring people here. And then we get a headline that looks like this. They're doing shooting practice. Is it, or sh they're using our park as a shooting range. I think that's ludicrous, beyond ludicrous. I, I, I can't fathom how within the confines of a city, the police are, and it's our police besides. Now, we, I know 
I understand budgets. I know it's tight. But we always seem to have money for other stuff. Certainly, we can rent a shooting range. There are several around here, and I'm sure they're not that expensive. You can't tell me that you can guarantee there's not going to be a kid who's adventuresome. They hear shooting. They're going to find out why. God forbid it ever happens, but it could. And I don't want it to be any of my kids or anyone else's children. But kids are curious, especially little boys. You guys know you were one. I just, I, and the other thing that, due to the same article, was, and I don't know if they quoted you correct, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt, Mr. Gaber, when they said, you said that you didn't report to the commission because you didn't feel it was an issue. If that, it was in the next day's paper, I think. I don't think that was the correct quote, but Well, that's fine. okay. Like, that's why I say I give you the benefit of the doubt because, you yeah. know. But what I'm concerned about is that they're allowed to be doing this. Why? It's an open area. There's no protection like in a, in a conservation, uh, yeah, con conservation club, if nothing else. Who is certifying these people? And if they're just practicing, they can still go someplace to arrange and practice. Why would they be doing this in the city? That's, it's dangerous for one thing. And I think it's ludicrous. We can afford everything else, but we can't train our policemen right, the few that we do have. That's my gripe. And I had to come and tell you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Seeing no one, we will move on. Next up, we have approval of the agenda. I move that we approve the agenda with the addition amendment. We have to it's not an amendment. It's just, it just goes okay. along with the agenda. I move that we approve the agenda. Okay. Support. Okay, we have a motion to support. Any comment? Hearing none, all in favor of approving the agenda, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Carries. Next, we have approval of the City Commission regular meeting minutes, July 19, 2012. I make a motion that we approve the City Commission meeting minutes from July 19, 2012. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of approving the minutes signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Carries. <laughs> okay, now we have the consent agenda. First thing we have are TIFA Minutes from June 19, 2012. Special event permit application for a movie night at the Nautical Park on Water Street, August 25th from 5 to 11 p.m. Sponsored by the Safe Haven for Kids of Michigan and Harvest Christian Church. I believe that's it. I move that we accept the consent agenda. Support. Motion and support. Discussion? Hearing none, all in favor of approving co consent agenda signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Carries. Next we'll move to unfinished business and the adoption of ordinance number 12-02, distracted driving. Um, I did have a conversation with uh, Commissioner Phelan earlier today about he was was going to recommend some changes. However, if we change this at all, per our attorney, we have to start the process over again. So I'm just letting you know. So, okay. From that, you can carry on. Thank you. <laughs> Do I have a motion to approve? I move or that we adopt the ordinance number 1201 on. No. Um, is it 1201 or is 1202? It says 1201 on the. It is two. It is two. Okay. Okay. We adopt ordinance number 12-02. Okay. Do I have a second? No second. Motion dies. Next, we have an introduction of ordinance for Smoke Free Beach. 
And this is a this contains numerous amendments as uh, well, requested. There were three areas that we changed. That okay. So we have an introduction. Do I have a motion to introduce the smoke-free beach ordinance? I move that. I move that we um, accept. Are we no, introducing please. the smoke-free ordinance? Support. Okay. We have a motion to support. Discussion. Hearing none. All in favor of introducing ordinance uh, for the smoke-free beach, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Nay. Motion carries. Next we have the Marine City Police Department letter of understanding. Mr. Gaber. Um, as part of the wage opener in the third year of the contract, uh, I met with uh, the PD representatives. Uh, we came to an agreement with regards to what the wage reopener would look like. That is the only thing that is in the third year of the contract was a wage reopener. Um, I believe in the letter I stated uh, the first year was zero. They got a 1% in the second. So if you look over the three years, it basically averages about 1%, which is well under the inflationary rate that's been out there. Um, they are currently also paying part of their health care right now as well. So. Um, this was the agreement at least we came with. So the board just needs to approve or not approve the letter of understanding. I'll make a motion to approve <laughs> the letter of understanding with the Marine City Police Department. Second. Okay, we have a motion to approve and a second. Any discussion? And th this was budgeted, so I mean, and it only has, there's only three officers involved. It's a very small amount of money. Okay. Still no discussion? Okay. All in favor of approving the Marine City Police Department letter of understanding, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. Nay. Motion carries. Next, we have a street paving proposal for 1241 South Water Street. Yeah, and this is very similar to what we did over at the Riviera <coughs> with the street in. I mean, with regards to the participation part, okay? Um, this is in front of 1241 South Water on the point. Uh, it's probably the narrowest and worst section of the public right-of-way. There are some private right-of-ways that go a little farther to the point that are probably narrower than that. Uh, it also has a drain in it that's causing the seawall to wash out. Um, the individual approached us with regards to that. Um, we went over there with the DPW director. We kind of reviewed it. Um, we told him that the pro this program could exist if he wanted to match the local road fund with private funding similar to what we did over there. Um, he attempted to get some, some bids. He got one individual to come out, uh, one for blacktop and one for this. We preferred the concrete in this area because of the drain and the condition of the blacktop that's already there. Um, Total price come in at, came in at $7,400 for about 1,500 square feet, which is about 493 a square foot. We typically build all our sidewalk repair right now at about $5 a square foot. And I went back and looked when we did the big paving back in the corner over here. That was working out to about 482 from the best I can find. So even though it's three or four years later, the price hasn't really varied very much. So. Uh, we're very comfortable with the pricing on this. Um, that's why we attached the other letter to uh, waive competitive bidding. One, it's unlikely we're going to get any, anybody else to come out. We couldn't get them to come out originally just to look at it. It's just a small project. They don't want to be bothered with it. So I'm asking the board to approve uh, the recommendation to go ahead and replace this section of the road with private contribution of 50%. Any questions from there, or is there a motion? And then we can go from there. I move that we accept the street paving proposal for 1241 South Water Street at the cost of $3,700 for the city. That's the, oh, what do you want? Support. We have a motion and support. Discussion? Um, yeah, I just had a couple of things um, that I spoke to uh, Mr. Gaber about earlier today. Um, uh, the first thing was uh, I 
I told him that the uh, the seven sack mix that that's uh, recommended or that's proposed here. Uh, I wouldn't recommend using that. Um, I understand that they want to get it open quickly, but uh, what I've been finding is with the standard six sack mix, it's been most of those have been coming in about three days, three four days. They've been open uh, to traffic, um, so I would I would suggest uh, trying to get them to change that. And actually, that should. It won't have a negative impact on the, on the cost. But no, the, the additional cement is is actually an added cost, so so it should be cheaper. Um, but seven sack just doesn't hold up entirely uh, as long, so I would recommend that we uh, you know, at least. Uh, yeah, the only difference will be it may be closed a little bit longer on one side before we can go do the other. That's right. All. Yeah, like and I, that's all we were trying to avoid. Right, like I said, it it only. Has been taking three, three to four yeah. days for uh, standard mix to to get open to traffic. Um, uh, with the no permits, I, I think a soil erosion permit is probably going to be required here, just because of the proximity to the water. I'll check with Brian so on that, but it, it shouldn't shouldn't be a big deal. Yeah. But uh, the city should be able to just pull that permit. Um, and, and basically, that's it. I, I'm happy that uh, that this resident is. Uh, Pairing up with the city to uh, to make a small improvement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is this the total price of the project, or is the city's? No, this is the the seventy four hundred is the total price total we price. have half. So we'll be paying half of that. Yeah, right. Because I think the motion was to pay the seventy four hundred. Thirty-seven hundred. Thirty-seven. Excuse me, my ears. <laughs> you don't have that. <laughs> and the difference between the seven sack and the six sack is about a hundred dollars in the total price. So it's right. going to come down it's, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, th I think the concern the is longevity and. Yeah, and, yeah. and yeah. that's another, you know we were trying to look out for the. There's still going to be some minor traffic. We'll probably keep the garbage truck off of it a little longer than that. <laughs> but that's the only heavy traffic we see going right. there. Right, and, so. and down that far. Um, as long as we only do one side at a time, everybody will be able to get through. Right. It won't be a major so, I, no I expect jam. people to be lining there, up yeah, after this to get there. Too much traffic. <laughs> there's more than you think down that street. Yeah, yeah, there is. I believe you. Yeah. I'm amazed sometimes. Yeah, because yeah. uh, I've been down there, yeah. and it's, wow, how much traffic is it really going back and forth well, here? you've got the condominium, so yeah. there's a few more people down there than you think. Yeah. yeah. But it's just one, one property width, so it really shouldn't be a, an issue. Not for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any other discussion? Okay, hearing none, all in favor of uh, approving the street paving proposal at 1241 South Water Street, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, say nay. The only other thing that Motion has to go carries. along with this is the waiving of competitive Right, bids. next we would have to waive the competitive bidding so that we can proceed with con and con cement since they're the only ones that wanted to uh, give Come an estimate to begin it. with. I'll make a motion to adopt a resolution to waive competitive bidding. Support. We have a motion to support. And all in favor of waiving competitive bidding for the street paving proposal, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Carries. Thank you all. Next up, the money. Total disbursements including payroll of $510,243.20. I move that we accept the um, financial report, uh, payroll of $510,243.20. Excuse me, $510,243.20. Getting out of practice. I did, yes. <laughs> second. We have a motion and second. Can we have a roll, any discussion first? Hearing none, can we have a roll call vote? Commissioner Lovett. Yes. Commissioner Milley? Yes. Commissioner Phelan? Yes. Commissioner Sotarjic? Yes. Mayor Brown? Yes. Motion to carry. Thank you. Next up, city manager report. Just a couple of short items. One, um, first of all, all the paperwork for the EDI grant for 300 Broadway is complete. Um, we re-registered on the Locust system for invoice approval. We're just going to find out what kind of invoice they want to see so we can start using that money to um, pay for any additional the invoices that will be coming in now. Uh, it did not require an environmental study of any kind, so it worked out real well. 
Targeted neighborhood has been stalled. Um, our inability to qualify people has been the biggest issue. Um, either they earn too much in an, on an annual basis or they can't get the match required for that, at least the individuals that were initially on the list. Okay. Um, I've got Bruce coming in, Bruce Johnson coming in uh, about mid-August here because we're going to let the uh, project for Riviera Apartments about that time and we're going to sit down and have some discussions to see what can we do to get that back off the ground again. But we can't change the program parameters. We're kind of stuck with that. So we've got to find a way to get people qualified in, within there. In addition to that, I've had another property owner on Water Street that's interested in doing a couple apartments in a building up above. So we're going to look at that at the same time and see if we can't get some additional funding out of MISHTA uh, if they want to move forward with that. Um, 300 Broadway, um, and I don't know if you were going to talk about it, Commissioner Sitarczyk, but uh, the window Feel replacement free. company was out there for the last two days, windows and doors. Um, there was a little nervousness about what they were doing over email, so they flew them out and they spent two long days there measuring, looking at it. They came up with some great ideas that are going to save some money on the interior rehab because uh, they're going to be able to save a lot of the interior moldings in that. So they were, everybody was excited about that. However, it is going to delay the installation until probably early to mid October, okay? Uh, so, and I've already contacted Heritage Days because they were planning on using that building in some manner and they may not have as much access as they had planned on. So they said they would work around whatever we could give them. But that's moving forward well. They were excited about that. So um, that's all I have right now, unless there's any questions from the board. No, I, just, I don't really think that's too far off his original timeline anyway, because we were looking at a wrap-up around November. Was well, that okay? Yeah. So. Yeah, I, he would. He thought it would be at least like four or five weeks. He thought it was delayed. So. All right. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner Privilege. Anyone? Yes, of Commissioner course. Love it, of course. Um, I just I wanted to make a few notes tonight about our Marine City businesses. Um, first of all, uh, the working together of uh, two business in, businesses in our community, Judy Jones of Gnarly Woods and Bob Ahe of um, Backwoods, uh, the back uh, door, back porch antiques, I'm sorry, um, worked together to put on a great antique show. And not only was it uh, a benefit to you know the, the people at the show itself, but many people left the antique show to, to go around our city and, and visit some of the antique stores. Um, it brought in visitors, um, they um, stopped in other places uh, in our community, and hopefully they sampled some of the wares at, at our um, uh, restaurants that are in town. Um, all who, um, I was down at the antique um, show on Sunday, and they just spoke very highly of our city, uh, the friendship of the people here, of course the location on the water, um, the welcoming signs, blooming flowers, and hopefully you know, we continue with smiling faces um, on the part of the residents to, uh, to continue to welcome people in our community. It's wonderful when business um, men and women of our community stop um, and um, put forth to, uh, the effort to invest in our city. Um, kudos to those who have, uh, whether the economy, like Zimmerman's and uh, Morelli's, Gars, and, and just to name a few. Uh, those who participated in the facade program um, and or rental rehab, and we've seen the improvement to places like Anita's, the sweet shop, Riviera, and um, others. Those who have added to or expanded and redefined their business, the quilt shop, Vera Grace, Grounded, Marine City Fish Company, Gnarly Woods, and, and more, they've taken some of our, our buildings and, and expanded on them. And these people are putting their money into um, our community. Um, and of course, the, the great customer service at VG's and Food Depot. How can we keep these businesses in our community? By supporting them. So I just wanted to encourage people to support our community. Um, you might get a better bargain at Kroger's, but you won't get better customer service than you, you do at Food Depot or, or VG. So um, that's, um, anyway, something that I wanted to put there. Now, oh, I forgot Tim's party store. Um, the community bulletin board out in front of Tim's is, is always, I find it very helpful. It reminds me of people's birthdays and um, community uh, businesses that are celebrating anniversaries, et cetera. So thank you, um, Tim, also. Huh? Um, 
And lastly, don't forget to mark your calendars if you haven't already for Heritage Days, October 6th. Had a chance to see the, um, the game plan, the site plan for that, and it is going to be a day full of activity, uh, mostly free. Um, there are going to be period um, dress, costume, games for children, um, activities for adults, and blacksmiths, and um, other um, types of businesses that would have been common at that era. We also have antique vehicles coming to give people rides. Um, it's just going to be a great day. So be sure to plan for it um, and plan to stay in Marine City for that day. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? I have one thing that I did forget and the clerk reminded me about. Uh -oh. August 10th, which is a Friday, Water Street is going to be completely closed. The city offices were going to close to the public on that day as well because it, there's going to be a lot of activity there with rides being set up and what have you. And we, it, it just may not be an ideal condition. There's no water bills due. There's nothing due. We don't anticipate a, a lot of traffic on that day anyways. So I just wanted to make that, uh, make the public aware. And that's that Friday of, the 8th of August 10th. Thank you. Anyone else? I was going to speak but she took everything I was going to say. Doesn't she usually? <laughs> yeah. no, I'm sorry. I, I went to the antique show too and it was great. I was there Saturday and Sunday. I had to go back for more on Sunday so <laughs> that was that was a really nice event. But I I was going to uh, try to get something on the agenda this week but I was too busy to uh, do any research. I've had several people come up to me and suggest that we look at uh, changing our charter to allow uh, business owners and property owners to serve on our boards. Okay. So I'm just throwing it out there for people to think about and uh, like to do a little more research. But we had trouble getting, you know, people on these boards and the business owners and the property owners that don't live here. They have a major investment and a stake in the city too. So I think we should at least talk about it, you know. That's it. Okay. Anyone else? I'd like to uh, remind everybody that Tuesday is election day and go vote. That's, that's all All I've got to say. can't tell us who to vote for, but not, you are going to tell us to I vote. I cannot say anything about that. Okay. Commissioner uh, Melly, sorry. No? Okay, the only thing I've got this evening, other than keeping it under 30 minutes, and no, we didn't rush through it. There just wasn't a whole lot here. Um, don't forget Maritime Days next week. Spread the word, bring in your friends and family from out of town. Let's get some people downtown and help all the businesses that Diane was just talking about and show off our town. It's always worth it. Um, it's going to be a little bit different this year, so I think we should all be excited to see how it's going to be. Except for you folks that live on Water Street, you might not be quite as excited. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I've got. Anyone? Oh, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I've got a motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Do I have a third? All. Oh. All in favor? Signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed say nay. Carries. Thank you all. Have a good evening. What do you think? Oh, folks.